Hi, this is Matt with MyCAD. I've got a sample project here with some of our light fixtures loaded in to demonstrate their features. Uh, the intent of our light fixture library is to provide a variety of families that are both flexible and easy to use. So they're all fully parametric. You can control the dimensions and for the uh, suspended ones like the pendants you can also control the stem length. Uh, we've got included in the library a number of different shapes of wall sconces including a uh, linear wall mount. We've got both uh, recessed uh, surface mount and suspended troffer type fixtures, uh, recessed and surface mount uh, cans both round and square, uh, pendant lights, uh, suspended uh, linear direct indirect track lights under cabinet lights and strip lights the uh, graphics <clears throat> in plan view you've got uh, several options for the uh, troffer type fixtures there's a plain lensed fixture there's a graphic for volumetric and for parabolic and those are just check boxes in the uh, dialog box so you can show parabolic lines, show volumetric lines, if they're both unchecked it's just a plain lensed fixture and you've got a check box for a wall washer as well as the dimensions, the length, the width and the depth. Uh, also in these uh, fixtures they all have a as an instance parameter, uh, optional graphic to show an emergency fixture. So that's just a checkbox as an instance. You show that graphic. As far as ease of use in these families, uh, one thing that we did when we built them was to make uh, them face based. Uh, demonstrate uh, how that works here. For the wall mounted fixtures, they're not actually wall hosted. They are face based, which means you can place them on an, um, any surface, uh, including through a link. And if the wall is deleted, I'll delete that, the fixtures remain. If they were wall hosted families, they would have to go onto a wall for one thing. And if the wall was deleted, the fixture would also be deleted. So we felt that uh, that was a a, uh, a better way to go is to create these as, as face based. Uh, you, they're more flexible and they won't delete if the host is deleted. For the ceiling fixtures we actually built them uh, both ways. So you get uh, a ceiling hosted set and a face based set. And I'll show you the difference here. Uh, they're, they're named appropriately so you'll be able to tell if a click on this one it's a recessed face based troffer and this one is a recessed ceiling hosted troffer and the difference between the two um, is in their behavior both when they're placed and then if anything happens to the uh, ceiling afterwards so on a, a ceiling hosted fixture which you're um, all probably familiar with I'll do create similar here you go to place this it doesn't really snap into the grid. You just place it and afterwards you can use alignment constraints and just kind of snap it into the grid here. And uh, if you move the grid lines around, so I'll select a grid line and just use the nudge tool, you can see that the, the fixtures move around with the grid. Now on the face-based uh, families. I'll create similar here. One thing you have to remember to do is that you've got options on face-based families. So click uh, place on face and you, when you bring this in you'll see that it has snaps to the grid lines of the uh, of the ACT. So you can place that like that. We've also included in the uh, recessed uh, cans and some of the other fixtures reference planes so that 
even the can will snap to the center of a tile which really speeds these up if you're using cans a lot the ceiling hosted fixture will not do that now the drawback to this is that if you move the grid around the face based fixtures don't move with it although you could use alignment constraints so you could align the fixture to the grid and then when the grid moves uh, the light would move as well uh, the big benefit of using the face based versus the ceiling hosted is that if the ceiling is deleted the face based fixtures remain and the ceiling hosted do not uh, the same goes with our strip lights these were made as a fa both face based and ceiling hosted as well just like all of the fixtures and it's nice to be able to put one of these fixtures into a room that doesn't have a ceiling if you have a mechanical room or something like that that doesn't have a ceiling in it uh, a face based family can also go on a work plane so if you could just put a work plane in that room and, and place the fixture in there without having to have a dummy ceiling which was the old workaround In uh, building this library, we also included the, um, the generic uh, light source that uh, Revit provides with the, with the families and gave them all self-illuminating surfaces. So for basic rendering purposes, let me actually switch over to this view. Uh, for those um, uh, basic renders that you may want to do, they do cast light and they are... Um, they are self-illuminated so let me let me just show you what that looks like I did a quick rendering of that scene and you can see that the fixtures do cast light and that they are um, self-illuminating as far as the surface appears bright when it's in the ceiling or um, in the scene so for if you're doing a a real light study obviously you'd want to get the correct fixture with all its uh, photometrics and everything but this does have a a light source and a self-illuminated surface for basic rendering projects and that's the overview of our MyCAD light fixture library thanks for watching if you have any questions about any of the MyCAD libraries for Revit, or if you're interested in purchasing, you can send an email to support at mycad.com or contact us at 1-855-4MYCAD. That's 1-855-469-2233. Thanks.